All right, so we're here at the X Seigo, right? Seigo, that... we call it Seigo, yeah. Sorry. So we're virtualizing I.O., which means that servers in future only need one physical interface for lots of virtual Ethernet and virtual SAN interfaces. And uh, that saves you cabling, saves you capital costs, and you don't need to know on the server what's required uh, when you install it. You can actually generate extra NICs and extra HPAs on the fly uh, as you need them in, in the future. So it saves you ca cabling. Not only cabling, it saves you buying the NICs and HPA boards, and uh, it allows you to stay flexible in the future when you create more virtual machines or, or uh, whatever connectivity yeah. you require. So one of the points of using uh, virtualization is to save money, right? And now you can yeah. save even more money with this your system. Is, this is saving capital costs yeah. on, on the uh, cables and the NICs and HPAs you don't have to buy. Yeah. And it's saving operating costs by keeping you very flexible. You don't have to get servers out to install extra interfaces. Right. I can give you a quick uh, example here. Uh, We've okay. actually included our management in the uh, VMware management virtual center yeah. and uh, here we have the device manager of a Windows server and if we apply uh, uh, IO profile, uh, um, profile to that server just wait a few seconds we will actually see those interfaces come up on the Windows server so the operating system doesn't realize that these are virtual interfaces they look exactly the same as real network interfaces real hardware that's been added to the yeah. server it's taking a few seconds here right. I think it's going to come through here they come here they are yeah so those those virtual interfaces are appearing to the operating system exactly the same as real NICs real HBAs in other words real Ethernet and fiber channel interfaces that have been added to the server that's in real time with the server running there's no need to deinstall it all right okay okay so uh, how much does it cost to use something like this the chassis starts at around 30,000 uh, euros yeah what's this, what's this chassis? Is so this, chassis? this is our product the chassis here the, I mean the, the what is the chassis the, on the, the, the this this part here yeah is our chassis okay that's our product and uh, we also have some drivers up on the servers these are some normal servers with uh, interfaces called HCAs and InfiniBand and our drivers on there are the secret source um, which enables us to do this virtualization technology. So you save a lot of power because uh, cabling because... We're, we're saving cabling, power, interfaces, hardware and uh, adding lots of flexibility. All right, are many people using it already? Uh, several customers around the world, uh, it's in a lot of test labs at the moment, yeah. proof of concept and uh, it's ramping quickly. Ramping quickly. Yeah. All right. Okay, thanks. Thank you.